Welcome to OCP TV, the newsroom for the Open Compute Project Foundation. I'm Laura Noland at the 2020 OCP Virtual Summit. Joining me today is Matt Roman, Vice President of Marketing Product Management at Edgecore Networks. Welcome, Matt. Hi, thank you very much. Great pleasure to be here. Well, tell our OCP TV viewers about Edgecore and what you do. Okay, sure. So Edgecore is a network solution provider. Uh, we deliver wired and wireless networking products and solutions through channel partners, integrators uh, worldwide for applications, including data center networks, service provider networks, enterprise and uh, uh, SMB networks as well. Um, our, so, our main focus uh, as, it, as it ties in with OCP is around open network technology. So within our open network portfolio, we provide a full line of Wi-Fi uh, wi access points, packet transponders, uh, virtual PON OLTs, cell site routers, and a full line of one gig through 400 gig OCP accepted switches um, that support a, a, a full offering of both commercial software as well as uh, open source software. Edgecore Networks is a global sponsor this year. So tell us what you're sharing with the OCP Virtual Summit attendees. Okay, sure. Um, so we've got two themes or two uh, product or technology areas that we're focused on for this year's uh, OCP Expo. Uh, the first is a full line of cell site gateways or cell site routers. Um, so these are open network uh, hardware platforms. There are three different models with different performance classes and form factors, uh, depending on, on use case and the operator's uh, environment. Uh, there are a number of commercial software options available for these, so there's lots of uh, flexibility and choice. Um, we are definitely seeing a tremendous interest from network operators worldwide uh, for this type of technology as they build out 4G and, and upcoming 5G build-outs. Wow. So that's, yeah. The second part uh, of what we're showcasing is uh, a full portfolio of 400 gigabit Ethernet technology. So this is 400 gigabit Ethernet switches. Um, we're definitely seeing a strong uptake of 400 gig technology, certainly by the hyperscale uh, and, and cloud operators, as well as uh, smaller data center operators and service providers. And there's, there's really four, uh, four classes of products that we're focused on with this 400 gig. Uh, the first is a 400 gig fabric switch, uh, which is part of a disaggregated router solution. Um, we've also got a 12.8 terabit 400 gig programmable uh, data center switch. Uh, upping the performance even more, a 25 terabit, uh, 64 port, 400 gig spine switch. And then we've also got a 400 gig line card that goes in our uh, modular data center chassis. So uh, a whole bunch of uh, really cool technology. Absolutely. Uh, Matt, it sounds like your products and services and solutions are, are really well integrated into the OCP community. So how does exhibiting and being part of the OCP events make an impact on your business? Um, it, it is definitely very, uh, very impactful. Um, you know, these events provide us with, you know, with great uh, interaction and in, in, in most years, personal one-on-one -on -one interaction, uh, but virtually uh, this year with network operators and technology partners. So it's just a great environment to be, you know, right in front and have direct access and get direct feedback on product requirements, challenges, um, and those, those types of things. Um, it, it also provides us, uh, you know, with tremendous brand recognition in the open network community. So we're very, you know, very um, dedicated to OCP. We, we participate in a lot of different areas. Um, so, we, so we definitely, as a company, we see brand recognition. People go to the, you know, go to the OCP site and, and you know, because we're very active, Edgecore Networks is, uh, you know, is very prominent there. And, and we, you know, frankly, we get a lot of sales leads and, and inquiries from that alone. Um, I think the other thing, which isn't necessarily as part of the expo, but part of OCP in general is on the OCP website, there is a, a marketplace for OCP accepted products. So we've got a full family of our different uh, switch technologies that are in that, in that marketplace. So, so we see benefits in, in a lot of different ways, both in the, in the expos as well as just being part of the OCP community. You mentioned network and collaboration at the event. What do you hope to take away uh, from this year's event and bring back to Edgecore as you further your mission? So I'd say it's really um, probably most importantly is, is a, a refreshed view of, uh, you know, what the network challenges are, what's going on in the ecosystem, 
you know, what some of the trends are so that we can, you know, uh, either start new programs or maybe adjust programs or adjust, you know, go to market, um, you know, type activities based on the direct feedback from, from operators and from our technology partners. Um, so that's definitely, you know, what we want to get out of that. And it's certainly, you know, it's a great environment to see what, you know, what other, other vendors are doing, how they're approaching problems. And, you know, certainly in the, in the spirit of OCP, it's all, it's all out in the open. So it's a, it's a great environment. As you've been mentioning, EdgeCore Networks is active in the OCP community. So what were some of the deciding factors that led you to choose OCP? So, yeah, that's a great question. So it was, you know, quite a few years ago, five or six years ago, we saw, you know, that operators wanted flexibility and choice, and they didn't want to be locked into proprietary solutions. Um, so that ties in perfectly with, you know, with the goal of OCP. You know, back then it was, it was really focused around hyperscale data center and data center operators. And that certainly has, you know, now evolved into service provider, you know, environments, telecom type environments, as well as the enterprise. Um, so, so we started uh, back in, in 2013, that's when we first started attending OCP. Um, we contributed our first uh, Ethernet switch design in, in 2014, April of 2014. And it turned out that was the first OCP accepted uh, Ethernet switch. So we're, we're certainly very proud of that. Um, you know, if you fast forward to today, we've, we've got, or we've contributed uh, 17 different designs and 15 of those designs are OCP uh, accepted. Uh, and, and that that spans everything from some from very basic you know one gigabit Ethernet switch technology, all the way through the latest and greatest you know 400 gig Ethernet technology, uh, as well as uh, access core routers and and Wi-Fi access points. Um, we we do continue to invest in, in OCP certainly in terms of you know products and technology, some of which I just mentioned. So we're we're continuously contributing uh, you know designs to OCP. But EdgeCore is also, um, you know, very much invested in in leadership positions within OCP. Um, so uh, our our VP of Technology uh, is is part of or is the co-chair for the incubation committee. So that's the, the you know the committee that reviews the uh, the contributions. Um, so that's a you know pretty pivotal role. And then uh, our CEO is actually the leader of the OCP Taiwan Regional Committee. And then our European leader is part of the uh, is the leader of the OCP uh, European Regional Committee. So so we definitely invest a lot. We see a lot of benefits that come out of OCP. Absolutely. Wow. I didn't know that there were so many leaders there from EdgeCore yeah, part yeah, of the yeah. OCP community. Yeah, definitely. So tell us about you mentioned some of the projects that you've collaborated with and and working towards solving some of the industry challenges. How has it directly impacted or uh, help solve some of your own business challenges at EdgeCore. Um, so I guess a, you know a couple parts. I, you know I think our our prominent place in the community gives us direct access to you know to operators and technology partners that are embracing open networking. So there's you know there's a big benefit there. You know in terms of specific examples. Um, so I mentioned that that incubation committee and, and you know the way this works within OCP when a when a vendor such as EdgeCore you know, contributes a design, there's a series of steps and, and uh, you know, review and vetting that goes on before it becomes an OCP accepted design. So through that process, through the incubation committee, you know, the, the, the members of that incubation committee review and provide feedback. And, and ultimately, you know, in this, in this open community, it, you know, it enhances our products and, and the, you know, the folks that are on the incubation committee, you know, have, have various backgrounds. It's other equipment vendors, there's folks that are network operators, architects, you know, that, that sort of thing. So it really helps us, you know, improve and, and better our products without having to, you know, build it, ship it, get it out to the field, get the feedback. So we can kind of get that, you know, uh, community feedback on the, on the platform and how to make the products better. Excellent. Excellent. That's great to hear. Now tell us where our viewers can go to learn more about EdgeCore Networks. So certainly our website, um, edge-core.com. So all of our products and technology is up there. There's, you know, lots of different collateral and use cases and, and things that uh, you can learn uh, learn more about EdgeCore and our solutions. Um, and then certainly the EdgeCore OCP virtual booth. So we'll have a, mm -hmm. a fully manned virtual booth with collateral. <laughs> and um, and uh, I was also uh, able to participate in one of the 
uh, OCP uh, Lightning Talks as well. So, uh, so you can learn some more about Edge Core and one of our one of our partners, MyTech, uh, in the Lightning sessions as well. We will definitely see Edge Core throughout the summit. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for joining us. We appreciate your time today. Very much my pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to OCP TV. Enjoy the virtual show.